I'm a goalkeeper who's played for some great teams. I was transferred from Mantova to Napoli. And when I arrived, it was almost an immediate party. In Naples, I was always very happy. On the other hand, I have always been settled and well received wherever I have played, which has always allowed me to live a good life. Moving to Turin, I did expect to win league titles, and thankfully that turned out to be the case. I would say it was a transfer that wasn't engineered, but the financial difficulties of Napoli at the time allowed me to move to Juventus. It really was an important signing for me, because they were a team of a certain stature, and it gave me huge satisfaction. I never had grand plans of playing there for 11 years. I never dreamt I'd play 11 consecutive seasons. In doing so, I set this record, which I'm very fond of, which is never missing a game in that time at Juventus. The goalkeeper's role is certainly difficult, because they have these quiet times and have to somehow overcome these moments. I found a way to always stay perfectly alert by following my team and producing a radio-style commentary in my head so that I was always ready to make a save when needed. Juventus against Napoli has always represented something spicy. Juventus has naturally always been the team to beat for everyone. Napoli has been near several times, and therefore a rivalry has been built up over the years. As a result, it is a very emotive fixture. Just the other year, Napoli were very close, which in turn fires the desire yet further to be competitive, just like Juventus. Above all, when I watch, I'm never a fan of one team or the other. If I'm honest, I'd like to say that I don't support either, but I follow my former teams with pleasure.